Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigeria newspapers. And I begin with uh, this Nigeria newspaper. The major story here says uh, local government autonomy, federal government drags 36 governors to Supreme Court, uh, berates a joint account, seeks direct payment to local government account. Another story here, Emirship Tussle on Easy Calm in Kanu. Adobayero sympathizes protests as Sanusi holds made in Palace Council meeting. Those are some of the stories <clears throat> you find on the front page of this Nigeria newspaper. We'll move now to the front page of uh, Nigerian Tribune. And the major story here, still talking about the federal government taking governors to, to Supreme Court, seeking autonomy for local government. And uh, the writer there alleges misconduct in local government affairs. Another story, government kidnapped 18 Ondo travelers to abducted Kogi varsity students uh, killed. A sad one there. And Kaduna Abuja train derails in Kaduna village. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of Nigerian Tribune. We move now to the salient times. This time is focusing on the first year anniversary of the president. It says, your policies implemented wrongly, Obasanjo Slams Jinubu says government yet to find right way to handle economy. Another rider there proposed 25-year development agenda. And quickly, another story here. Why? Okay, another story here. Federal government drags the 36 governors to Supreme Court. We had mentioned that earlier. And uh, first year anniversary, anniversary, it's time to publish your assets. That's what Serap is saying to the president. And to the front page of the new Telegraph. Federal government sues governor seeks uh, full autonomy for local governments. And quickly, the rider there wants Apex Court to stop them from unilateral, arbitrary, unlawful dissolution of democratically elected local government leaders. Insurgency, why we've not bombed entire Sambisa Forest? Chief of Air Staff is uh, making that statement. And the rider there says, Navy expecting... Uh, some operational or five operational ships from Turkey, China. Right now, we'll move to the front page of uh, the leadership newspaper. And uh, the story there is uh, talking about bandits killing 65, abducting 160 persons in Katsina, Niger, and Kogi State. And the ride there says loot houses, shops, cut away foodstuff, demand 1.6 billion naira as ransom. Security operatives kill 25 terrorists, lose four personnel. Right now we move to the front page of the Inquirer. Inquirer newspaper, the major story there. Is saying Tinubu begins projects uh, commissioning in Abuja. Expectations high as Abuja Metro Line commences heightened security. All right, that's a major story there on the front page of the Inquirer. To the Nation newspaper now. And a major story here Tinubu lists gains of Lagos Calabar Road. Another story there. A uh, 500 billion Naira capital plan by UBA, SEC uh, plans action on 200 billion Naira on claim dividends, EMEA protests in Kanu, Gaia. Uh, some stories you find on the front page of the Nation newspaper and to the front page of the Nigerian News Direct. First year anniversary, it's my bragging day. Tinubu boasts flags of 700 kilometer Lagos Calabar. Coastal Highway and the riders there says Akwakwa Uroshuki Ojota Expressway will spur economic development. Others completion of Abuja County Road within one year. Uh, now from mm -hmm. seven hours to one hour, 15 minutes, federal government road intervention saves time, boosts economy. 
That's what the Deputy Governor of Lagos State is saying. All right, Teofilos. The Punch newspaper here says, Coastal Highway will boost 30 million businesses, says Tinumbu. Kano Emirates uh, tussle by Aero supporters protest as Sanusi meets district heads. And the writer says here, yeah, by Aero is our Emir, protesters insist. Arava group urges uh, the throne leader to vacate Kano. Federal government suits against 36 governors over LG funds begin. Minor killed, others injured as excavator hits Lagos Mosque. Outrage over a brutal murder of oil private varsity students. Gunmen abduct Undo travelers. Four others escape. That's in the Punch newspaper uh, this morning. The next newspaper is the Daily Times newspaper uh, this morning. And of course, um, the Daily Times saying Obasan John Knox federal government policy says too necessary but wrongly implemented. Uh, government yet to find the right way to handle economy proposes 25 year development agenda. AGF drags 36 governors to, to Supreme Court alleging misconduct over local government autonomy. That's in the Daily Times newspaper this morning. The Daily Trust, uh, that's the next newspaper we are going into at this point. Uh, Daily Trust is saying protesters, Emery Tussle, protesters hit Kano Street, demand Bayero's return. Commissioners, LG chairs on solidarity visits to Sanusi don't destabilize Kano. Opposition lawmakers tell federal government, I've accepted my fate, dethroned Emir of Gaia. We've uncovered plots to attack state assembly, others, says police. Police confirm 11 killed in Katsina bandit attack. The noble commands Dangote on Lagos Rail Project. Two abducted Kogi varsity students killed. Federal government sues to the six governors, seek full autonomy for local government. That's in a Daily Trust the newspaper this morning. We we'll move now to the Guardian newspaper. Yes, the Guardian newspaper is saying firms, Jenkos, in fresh crisis over eligible customer policy review. Council autonomy, Supreme Court uh, finds, oh well, Supreme Court there is going to uh, discuss the issue with the government, and that's in uh, the Guardian newspaper this morning. And you can see the big picture there of the federal government, the, the president, uh, President Mbola Tunumbu, and the minister of um, FCT, Yesam Wiki, there, and the commissioning of projects uh, today. Let's move to first news. And the first news is saying, Kano emirship crisis escalates. Sanusi Bayero holding court from separate palaces. A passenger's verdict on Tinubu's government Necessary decisions uh, misguided, fueling economic impoverishment. Federal government drags, <coughs> excuse me, 36 governors to Supreme Court over LGA's its autonomy. That in the first news newspaper this morning. We move to the platform. The platform is saying here, uh, special report, Ogun Abia, others shown 54.90. Billion Naira, you back funds amidst the deteriorating infrastructure. For last 27 wives, 100 girlfriends almost killed him with stress, says Sean Kuti. Three killed in Ogun cult clash. A passenger falls to Nimbus policies as president marks one year anniversary. Sultan advocates and to Al Majri Begin supports integrated education. Federal government drags 36 state governors to Supreme Court, seeks full autonomy for local governments. That's in the platform times this morning. The Daily Independent is the next newspaper uh, this morning. The Daily Independent is saying, um, to number one year in office, airline industry nosedives, passenger traffic uh, drops amid high fares. Experts say jet A1 price increased from 790 Naira to 1,500 Naira per litre. Ask federal government to reverse policies hurting growth of aviation sector. First anniversary, Serap asks Tinubu to publish his assets. Tinubu yet to find right way to handle economies as a passenger. Banks recapitalization not enough to achieve $1 trillion GDP target, says expert. Lagos Calabar Highway a project, symbol of hope, unity, prosperity. Building demolition, call Lagos State Building Control Agency boss to order. About Lagos' lawyer tells Sonwolu that's in the Daily Independent this morning. We move to Nature News. 
And Nature News is saying Bureau of Statistics confirms food price hike uh, in Nigeria. That's Nature News this morning. Of course, uh, Tinubu pledges 750 million naira support for new, new maps erosion flood control initiatives. Federal government allocated 126.5 billion naira for inclusive housing <coughs> housing policies to address urban and slum challenges. Engineers discovered novel uh, solutions for recycling stubborn pl plastic materials. NGOs unite to drive tree planting campaign for sustainable. Uh, environment. That's in Nature News newspaper this morning. So we move to <coughs> excuse me the national economy, and the national economy this morning is uh, saying here, 17 years after last census, data gaps still hinder Nigeria's uh, proper economic planning. 17 years after last uh, last census, data gaps still hinder Nigeria's proper economic planning. Foreign portfolio outflows skyrocketed by 237% in quarter one, 2024. Nigerian startups secured 29% of Africa's $15 billion investment over five years. And that's in the national economy uh, this morning, deploying AI to achieve seamless data voice connection in Nigeria. That's in uh, the national economy this morning, of course. And finally, uh, the newspaper review, Sporting Life newspaper. It's all about sports this morning. Sporting Live newspaper is saying, Red Hot, Lukman fires warning to Bafana. Aribo celebrates Saints promotion to PL. Raw unleashes and forms strikers on Eagles. Uh, Finidi gets Simeon boosts. And of course, there are many other headlines in the Sporting Life newspaper this morning. Interesting. And I believe that our viewers have been updated uh, with uh, stories at talking about events happening across the country. But, mm -hmm. uh, Mike, I'm sure you've had a great time being with us this morning again. Yeah, bringing back <laughs> memories. Yeah. Great memories, I'm telling you. Great memories. <laughs> I think one, one thing I, I remember him by, and of course, um, someone up there will be laughing right now. The gods are wise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the gods are always wise. Yeah. yeah. Man. <laughs> you should guys not, never drink. Uh, no, of course. The, the, the point that I sugar. don't know if he still has sugar. I uh, know, no, of course. No, we no, manufacture no, them every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough Even to go around. Oh, no, of course. There's enough to go around. <laughs> anyway. Be the light everywhere. Be the salt. Be the sugar everywhere. That's Very what good. it is. Very good. Nice. We nice. Thank you. It's a, it was good having you on set this morning. Thank you for giving us your time. I, I, I know that. Uh, you're jetting off. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. But let me thank all of you for what you do, not just us here on TVC, but the Nigerian broadcaster, you know, keeping, keeping the momentum going and uh, acting as a bridge between the government and the people, which is the original responsibility that we are supposed to, uh, that has been bestowed on us. And you guys have been keeping the light on. I commend all of you, including all of our other colleagues on different platforms. Absolutely. Uh, sometimes I take time to watch what all of you are doing, and I'm proud of all of you. Yeah, well indeed. Done. Thank, well thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you have it, Mike right. I am, no, you must say it again. Oh, yeah, yes, I say it again. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you, you know, you know. sometimes I just watch him on, on, on social media when he posts some of his videos. I'm like, oh, God. Wait, now you have to I'm not, I'm not okay. going there. Not going I don't have time. Oh. Ah, okay, say it again. Yeah. All right. I am Mike Okwache. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thank it's you. Nice. It's Thank nice. you very much. It's nice. Keep up the great work. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.